What's up, YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back into Will Burn Shenanigans. My name is Chad. This is my wife. Yeah. We're back with another fantastic, excellent, exciting, funny reaction video. But before I dive in, go down to that vlog link. We are announcing the winner today. That vlog will be up today. And there's some exciting footage on that vlog. You might want to see something very rare, but go check it out. I won't even spill the tea. But we're going into Norm MacDonald. We just recently did uh, Risky Black Jokes, which was funny, but it, it kind of took like three minutes like before it like, got to the funny stuff. Like He kind of like warmed it up. It looked like he did, or whoever made that video. Mm -hmm. So this one is shitting on all women. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He's going into some risky topics. Risky topics. Who are safer drivers, men or women? Well, according to a new survey, 55% of adults feel that women are most responsible for minor fender benders, while 78% blame men for most fatal crashes. Funny, Please note that the percentages in these pie graphs do not add up to 100% because the math was done by a woman. Really? For those of you hissing at that joke, it should be noted that that joke was written by a woman. So, <laughs> now you don't know what the hell to do, do you? No, I'm just kidding. We don't hire Where's Hard Rock Cafe? Give me our magazine's list of the 100 most powerful people in Hollywood. Hit the newsstands this month. In an odd bit of ranking, Demi Moore was ranked number 28, while her breasts were ranked 20 and 21. So... <laughs> and finally, Weekend Update would like to congratulate Madonna, who gave birth to a beautiful baby girl last Monday. The baby weighed in at six pounds, nine ounces, making it the fourth largest object ever to pass through Madonna's birth canal. <laughs> in an interview out this week, Demi Moore says she would like to have another baby, this time a boy, to go along with her three daughters and two huge breasts. <laughs> For years, Hillary Rodham Clinton has told people that she was named for the first man to climb Mount Everest, Sir Edmund Hillary. But as Esquire magazine recently pointed out, Sir Edmund did not climb Mount Everest until 1953, six years after Hillary was born. However, the First Lady does have a good explanation for the discrepancy. She loves to lie. <laughs> Consider Amy Schumer the funniest person on the planet. <laughs> if you take me out of the equation. <laughs> no, I meant me. Oh, yeah. that's, 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 why was, why you were that's why I was clearing my throat, yeah. <laughs> Not you. I thought you were clearing your throat for me. No, no. <laughs> no, I'm taking you out of the And in entertainment news, Ellen DeGeneres and lover Anne Hesch have announced that they want to have a baby. However, their plan has hit a snag. They are both women. It's not possible <laughs> to have a child. There's this movie coming out. Like yes. Title undetermined at this point. Chairman of the board. Oh. All right. Do something with that, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the board is spelled B O R E D. <laughs> Demi Moore is rap filming on G.I. Jane in which she plays a Navy, Navy SEAL combat officer. Moore says that in contrast to other Hollywood portrayals of women in the military, her character will have giant breasts. I've never seen the idea. Finally, in, Miss, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a man allowed his eight-year-old daughter to take the wheel of his car, and an accident ensued that damaged seven other cars and injured six people, which once again proves my theory Women can't oh drive. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I knew he was going there. You've admitted that you're lazy. I think you've read six books in your life. I've read six. Six. What kind of a woman would be attracted to you, do you think? Well, I have a lot of money. Oh. <laughs> there you go. WNBA officials expanded to 10 teams this week, adding franchises in Detroit and Washington, D.C. But before you get too excited about the new additions to the league, remember, all of the players are still women. <laughs> they always get backlash. They so stink at basketball, that's the problem. <laughs> Oprah Winfrey's longtime boyfriend, Stedman Graham, has written a new book called You Can Make It Happen, 
a nine-step plan for success. Step number it. one, become Oprah Winfrey's boyfriend. <laughs> Then the other eight are just hang around. <laughs> How to capture a man's heart. And it, it, it's for women. And it says all these rules that you have to follow and you will capture a man's heart. And the rule number one, have huge breasts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy likes it. <laughs> Is the first lady a compulsive liar, though? It's beginning to look that way. In an interview on last night's 2020, intended to promote her new book, it takes a village, Mrs. Clinton folded under tough questioning by Barbara Walters and admitted that, in fact, it does not take a village, and furthermore, that she was aware that it does not take a village when she wrote the damn book. <laughs> I'm thankful for women, Oh, Conan, there you the go. The greatest creatures on Earth. <laughs> Wait, right. oh. We'll get behind that one. I think women are more intelligent than men. <coughs> Also, uh, Conan, without women, there would be no cookies. Here we see President Clinton looking for something, anything, to hug besides his wife. Pop singer Madonna was outraged this week when a tabloid photographer snapped her picture while she was breastfeeding her new baby. Apparently, the baby was blocking her nipple. <laughs> Real estate mogul Donald Trump announced this week that after three and a half years of marriage, he is seeking a divorce from wife Marla Maples. According to Trump, Maples violated part of their marriage agreement when she decided to turn 30. <laughs> Unacceptable. A frightening moment this week for First Lady Hillary Clinton. Her plane, en route to the former Soviet Union, was forced to make an emergency landing when it was discovered that a frayed wire in the engine was causing serious malfunctions. The president was said to be furious and demanded an immediate investigation of what went wrong with Operation Frayed Wire. Yeah. <laughs> Five great women writers on Saturday Night Live. Um, I would say, uh, right now we have Paula Pell, who's great. Uh, we have, um, uh... Wait, are you naming women? Hey, you want to take what? a call from Joel? <laughs> Wait a minute. In Kansas City? I only name one. No, I don't want to embarrass you. You're having trouble getting past one. Actor Bruce Willis is filming his next movie, The Broadway Brawler, in Wilmington, Delaware. Meanwhile, his wife, Demi Moore, is oh taking God. a break from movie work, saying she wants to spend more time with her huge breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood prostitute Divine Brown has written a book describing in lurid detail exactly what she did with Hugh Grant. The book sells for $25, but for $35, she'll show you. <laughs> After closing out a successful first season, the WNBA is considering several changes to improve the level of play in the league next year. Among the proposals, extending the playoffs, increasing salaries, bringing back the three-point line, and replacing all the female players with guys. Really? <laughs> sounds like a plan. That sounds like a I try to make it fast. Like, I'll, if I see a girl drinking at a bar, right? Uh -huh. I'll go up behind her, I'll go, I'll go, I can get us a bottle. <laughs> And that doesn't work very often. But sometimes you just want to get right. Yeah, I want to get right. <laughs> then I get the lady, I turn <laughs> off all the lights in the room so it's pitch black, and then I lay down on top of her <laughs> for five, ten minutes. Yep. Actually, you know, when I was on Saturday Night Live, when they wanted to do Weekend Update, they wanted me to do it with a girl. They wanted it to be two people. Look at this, mm -hmm. right here. <laughs> <laughs> but I said no. Oh. <laughs> but I said no. Darn. Well, I said... It was very funny because it was a big argument because they go, because Lauren goes, no, 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 and they, like Lauren has all these theories, and he goes, no, you'll bring, uh, if you get a girl, she'll bring, you'll bring her the comedy and she'll bring you the sex and uh, mm -hmm. like Ginger and Fred, and I'm like, what? Weren't they dancers? <laughs> so I didn't know what he was talking about. But I said, I don't really want to do it with somebody, like just get, let Frank can do it or something, you know? Yeah. And, but he was, he really wanted me to do it with a lady. And then, uh, and then uh, Steve Martin was the host that week. It was mm -hmm. really funny. 
And then uh, Lauren goes, let's hear what Steve has to say about it. You know? So then Steve Martin comes, comes in and he goes, Norm, uh, Norm's, we're talking about having maybe Norm and a co-host do it, you know, do it with a girl. What do you think of that, Steve? And then Steve goes, oh, man, he goes, I, I did this award show last week. And he goes, they put me with some stupid actress and I had, we had to, you know, present the award together and she wrecked everything. So he kind of saved So he it. pulled it out of the fire. Nice. Yeah, it was really. That was like a little dum dum. Why is he on it like that? Like he was into that lollipop. Like it was the greatest lollipop ever. It probably was to him. Dang, they was really. Dang, they was downplaying women in this, but I mean, I wouldn't say downplaying, but they was kind of hitting some key, <laughs> key points. A mess. It was, it, you know, it was some key points in there. It was some key facts that he. he I laid think the up. best one to me was like the Donald Trump one. Where he was like, "Oh, she turned 30. <laughs> I don't want Bill Clinton. He hugged everything else but his wife. His yeah, like, okay. Oh my God, Demi Moore. Demi Moore's heavy bracelet. I don't, I don't, I don't see Demi Moore forever. I, she kept popping up. I'm like, Demi Moore, I don't remember, ever remember Demi Moore having big breasts. Mm-hmm. Maybe I didn't look at her. But I'm going to have to go look up Demi Moore, y'all. I got I to gotta do an investigate for educational purposes just to make sure her assets are what they displayed in this video. That's all I'm doing. Not going over there for anything else. This is for educational purposes. Mm-hmm. It's like sex ed. So you don't agree. I'm just saying. So you're not curious to know if they no. those are hers. Oh, I thought she was on the same page. No. Not well, I, I, by Moore. myself? Yeah. Anybody else in the video was curious if you didn't know? They've already searched Demi Moore <laughs> already. <laughs> I love it. But thank you guys for tuning back in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, get to that vlog channel link below. We'll see you guys in our next video.